Amy, Amy Duplessis joins us. Now, obviously, with a name like that, it's a famous South African and Springbok name. Tell us about yourself. When did you arrive here? Um, I arrived here in 2007. I'm born and bred in South Africa. We moved straight to Southland where my family um, are currently dairy farming. Um, and, yeah, I wouldn't look back. Okay. And what, you're loving it here? Yeah, absolutely loving it. It's an awesome country. We're very lucky to be here. Um, still got a lot of family in South Africa, so it's pretty hard being away from them. But, yeah, wouldn't um, change it for for anything. <laughs> Look, a uh, great win to start. I'm going to come back to I've got so many questions about, about that and moving into South and things. But a great start to Super Rugby Opiki for you, Pippin the Blues, last week. So what are your thoughts and reflections on that game? Yeah, we're really stoked. Um, we knew it was going to be a tough battle. Um, we obviously came off a few losses last year and um, knew that this year was a new, a new year for us to really um, stamp our mark. Um, we stuck to our game plan and executed what we thought would obviously get us the win, um, but have taken away some good learnings from that and, um, yeah, a progress into our next game this weekend. Well, that's a tough game too because the Poa are a really good side and I watched most of that game. I sort of came in about 20 minutes into it, but watched it on the weekend. They look real strong. Yeah, absolutely. They are a good team. They've got some awesome threats across the park. So we've got a real um, clear game plan on how we think we can... Um, yeah, overcome them and hopefully get the win. Well, you're not going to tell us what that is, but I should imagine it's moving them around because they've got big forwards and they, you know, you've know, got to test their mobility, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. We pride ourselves um, on our on our fitness and our um, ability to get around the park. So we'll stick to our strengths and um, hopefully that will get the job done. First game ever in Christchurch. How's that? Yeah, we're very excited. Um, we've got an awesome community-based fans here and they just love coming to watch us, so we really can't wait to play it in a Punaway this weekend. Um, it's a smaller ground, but we're hoping to pack it out um, and, yeah, just have a fun day of rugby and having a lot of our fans there will be awesome. Yeah, when I was watching that Hurricanes game, it was in the Vin, it was a really good crowd, actually. Look, if you get a smaller venue, you only need 1,000, 1,500 turning up and they can rock and roll and make a lot of noise. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's really cool to have it there. It's a smaller field, um, but we're hoping to pack it out. Um, and have a bit more of like an intimate, you know, having the crowd along the, yeah, right around the field. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'll be very fun. I love it when you can, you can hear what they're saying almost when it's that close, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. So tell us about Southland then. I mean, it's a world away from South Africa. Why did mum and dad choose there? Yeah, so my um, grandfather, my dad's dad, lived in Southland and he was a dairy farmer and he had spoken to my, um, my dad and just said, you know, like the opportunities here in New Zealand are huge. And so... Dad came over before mum, um, my brother and myself, and um, yeah, we decided to migrate here, and here we are. God, I tell you what, it's it's you know I always I'm always really both interested and fascinated by you know, anyone who uproots themselves and comes to you know so far across the world and that I mean it's such a big change, isn't it? But obviously you've all settled in and everything, and you're loving it here. What do your family think about you putting on a black jersey though, as opposed to a green one? Yeah, I mean, we always laugh about that. Um, but to be fair, I think if I was still in South Africa, I wouldn't even be playing rugby. So we're just stoked to be here. Um, it's pretty awesome to play for the Black Ferns. My parents are super proud of me. Um, and no matter what, uh, what, whatever colour jersey you wear, you know, you're re representing your country, your family. Um, and yeah, it's, it's pretty special. Amy, so after being involved in the World Cup campaign and everything, and just the buzz and the you know the euphoria around that, how how difficult or not was it to kind of get back down to earth and go, okay, right, oh, we got to get back to business, training again, and playing for the Matatu? Yeah, I mean there was obviously challenges. We we're on a high for you know a few few weeks post um, Rugby World Cup, but I think we allowed ourselves to feel those feelings and just enjoy and embrace you know what was such a amazing um, experience but we did know that we you know we've got Opaki around the corner so there wasn't too much time to you know have down we just needed to get back up and get back to training um, but yeah I mean for personally myself I'm pretty driven and I you know I know what I need to do to be the best I can be so I just stuck to those processes and yeah now we here we are. Did you play any other sport or is always rugby's your game? No, I have. I um, played a lot of sport at school. I was a touch player, um, really, really loved netball. And I actually, post-school, um, was still playing netball and almost thought I'd be or wanted to be a silver fern. So, I, um, yeah, to be fair, rugby rugby was always a sport that I loved, but I didn't think I would 
maybe stick down this path. So, yeah, always love playing lots of sport. Well, it's great, isn't it? Because this is what the opportunity is actually. I mean, it's the right time, right place for it. Just in terms of the standard, though, I mean, you know, France and England, obviously, you know, on a standard with the Black Ferns, and, 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 and that's at a level above the other international teams. So where does where does Opeki sit? Do you think is it would it be like you know maybe playing Australia? Would it be like playing Canada? Can you kind of piece that or place that for us? Yeah, I mean it's actually really hard to say place it, but um, I do know that New Zealand's attack is pretty lethal. Like we've got some of the best strike weapons in the world, and I think from a defensive perspective, um, you know, defending our our New Zealand teams is actually pretty up there. And I think it's, some of it is up to international level. Um, I personally didn't play France and England, so I couldn't compare, but I know that that's a massive step up. Um, but I think this Opiki competition is huge for our um, momentum going into Black Ferns tests, and it's definitely going to help um, guide us into those international fixtures. Yeah, look, and it's obviously, you know, a very competitive competition, isn't it? There's not that much between all of the teams at the moment. So, you know, this this team that you're facing, the Hurricanes, as we said earlier, you know, you've got a game plan for that. Do you look further ahead than that game, or are you still in that mentality that it's we just deal with this one, then we deal with the one after? Yeah, no, definitely. It's only a short race, but um, we take each game as it comes. We're not looking ahead at all. Um, you know, we want to get the job done this weekend, and then we can look to the next. All the very best. I hope a big crowd turns up for you. Congratulations on everything that happened last year too, and hopefully we can stay in touch. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the call.